Recently I made a video answering the question, how would you solve for x in a problem like this, where it's 10 raised to the x power equals some number like 30. And I'll provide a link to that video here. Uh, I recently got another request asking, okay, I understand how to do things like this. How do you do it if it's something more complicated? And the two examples the person gave were, what if you had a function like this, um, 1 over 10 to the x equals some number, I don't know, maybe like 5, just to, to make a random example there. How would you solve that? And another example provided was, what if you had uh, something more complicated instead of just x in is the power there, what if you had something like 10 to the um, x squared, for example, so x squared plus x, and that that was equal to some number. Let's just say 30 again. So let me show you how to do that. Before I do, let me just very quickly review how to do this. It all involves taking logs, and I'm going to use natural logs here. And so what you do is if you take the natural log of this function, then what that turns this function into is um, x times the natural log of 10. x times the natural log of 10 equals 30. And then once you find out the natural log of 10 on a calculator, oh, I'm sorry, it, we should take the natural log of both sides, equals the natural log of 30. So the, the natural log operation, uh, you take the natural log of a number and then you multiply by an exponent. So that turns into x times the natural log of 10, natural log of 30 on the right side. And then on your calculator all you have to do is find the natural log of 10 and the natural log of 30. Pause the video and do that and then I'll show you my answer. And so I get x is approximately equal to 1.477. So that means if you put 1.10 uh, and you raise it to the 1.477 power, that will give you the number 30, or very close. I mean, you have to round these numbers off. So with that principle, this is, this is really the main principle. If you have any exponent, uh, a number raised to an exponent that's unknown, the easiest way is to take the natural log of both sides and again the rule is to multiply by the exponent and then take the uh, natural log of the number raised to that exponent um, and then just take the natural log of the other side in this simple kind of case so how do you treat this if you have a case that is a little more exciting or a little more interesting like this one well 1 over 10 to the x, we can rewrite this way. Um, 1 over a number to a power is the same thing as, in this case, 10 to the minus x. And set that equal to 5. And then you just proceed exactly the same way we did before. You would just take the natural log of both sides of this equation and the natural log of this side is going to give us the exponent times the natural log of the base and that's going to be equal to the natural log of 5 and then just find the natural log of 5 and 10 and solve that equation. You're just down to um, algebra at that point. Similarly in this situation, not too tough, you just multiply by the exponent and then take the natural log of the base. And so what that would look like is oop, this x squared plus x, since that's the exponent, multiply that times the natural log of 10, and that equals the natural log of the other side. And then all you're doing is an algebra problem right here. The natural log of 10 is just a number on your calculator. The natural log of 30 
It's just a number that you can find or approximately find on your calculator. And then you would want to distribute that natural log of 10 times the x squared and also times the x. Or you could just divide both sides by the natural log of 10. It would probably be the easiest thing. And that would cancel on this side. So <coughs> you would have x squared plus x equals a number and then you would just want to find what are the roots of the equation. So not all that more complicated uh, even if the exponent is something a little more interesting. Thank you for that question. This is Berkey Academy signing out.